How do you make a case for the worst Atlantic hurricane ever? How do you gauge one storm against another over time? Well, Irma wasn't the deadliest. In fact, modern preparation and warnings have no storms in that top 10 list after 1998. Ivan dropped the most tornadoes in 2004, which was a large part of its issues. The largest was Hurricane Sandy in 2012, which hit the Jersey Shore in New England. The fastest one-minute sustained winds were in 1980 with Hurricane Allen. Hurricane Wilma had the lowest pressure, the most intense storm on the Atlantic record. Well, what about the cost? Harvey and Irma's estimates are still coming in, but both could surpass Katrina's world record mark of $108 billion back in 2004. Hurricane Irma broke the record for most days spent as a hurricane, also the highest percentage of its life as a hurricane, and it set the 24-hour accumulated cyclone energy record, more energy unleashed in one day than any storm before. And that takes us to what I believe tips the scales in favor of Irma, in addition to the energy release and cost of the event. Looking at the whole lifetime of storms, these are the top four total accumulated cyclone energy events. Now it looks like Irma is in second place, and indeed, to Ivan, which spawned the most tornadoes. But there is another important factor in this, the duration of the storm. Ivan released slightly more energy than Irma, but did so with 10 more days of life. The power unleashed by Irma from start to finish is unmatched by a fairly wide margin with how few of days it took to release that much energy. While it is true that the 1899 Puerto Rico hurricane is estimated to have probably had a higher A score, it's also the longest lived hurricane ever and released that energy over an entire month. If death is the benchmark, it's not too hard to look far in the past for the worst hurricane. Wind speed and pressure are single index values in a complex picture. But the cost of Irma, combined with its record one day and lifetime accumulated cyclone energy scores, which detail the full picture of a storm's power, indicate that Irma, from start to finish, may very well be the worst Atlantic hurricane on record.